Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's face shave. That's right, we are doing a face shave on today's video. We're going to be profiling a new company, or at least a new company to me, AA Shaving. I've seen this around a little bit on YouTube. A couple people have done some reviews on it. I've not watched those. I wanted to do one without being influenced on my own. So there it is, this particular one, Oak Ash Thorn, as you can see. Now you might notice the, uh, the name up here. All right, uh, Alicia McGaha, I, I think I'm doing that right. If I'm not, I apologize. She did the artwork on this. Uh, it's actually really done very well. It's one of the more um, comprehensive labels that I've seen. A little waterproof label. Typical plastic tub. Uh, comes in 4.0 ounces and with a screw top lid. Speaking of screw top lid, there's the soap right there. Your typical mashed potato-y looking soap. All right. Let's talk about the rest of the gear. I do have the matching aftershave right here to go with it. Same type of label, same everything. Everything's pretty much identical, but that's, uh, they get like a kind of a greenish bottle. For the razor, Wade and Butcher. This was restored by me. As you can see, it's still got some patina on. I went as best as I could or slight scratches, I, but that's as far as I could get it. But anyway, this uh, Wade and Butcher is post-1890. And for the brush, we're going with Zenith Or. Let's make a lather, and we'll talk a little bit about this soap, all right? So, uh, the artist, uh, the company is owned by Austin Arrington. I hope I'm saying that last name correctly. Uh, all right, he described it as uh, he wanted the scent to be like a wooden ship arriving at a new land. And Austin's been doing shave soap uh, for a little while now, since 2019, not overly long, but a little while. And he said he's been perfecting his craft since the pandemic hit. Gave him some time to be able to sit home and go through all the trials and tribulations that are inevitable with making a soap. What's on this particular soap are something called Valspice Berry Floor. Gaikwood and Black Hemlock. Black Hemlock? Some of those ones I have not heard of. So I'm going to imagine that a few of you out there have not heard of them either. So your next question is probably going to be, what does it smell like? Well, it is definitely a strong scent. For me, the biggest thing I get out of this, if you, it reminds me of being on a camping trip with my, with my parents when I was a kid. Uh, and I, the reason I say that is because I get a ton of smoke out of it. Polarizing scent. And I believe the artisan was trying to go through something a little bit unique, or go for something a little bit unique, which is not always to, easy to do in this business. And getting it out there in the manner from which you intended it to be is not always easy either. Sitting around the campfire, drinking a couple of beers, throwing some steaks, on the, uh, you know, the grill part that goes over the fire there and just kicking back and relaxing outside. That's what this reminds me of. You know, it's got, holds a pretty good amount of water, actually. So we like it as far as that's concerned. Throw a little bit of water on the face. All right. All right, pretty easy to lather. Got a pretty good coverage there. Feels nice and dense, which is what I like with a soap. And the density comes with the ability to hold a lot of water. I'm thinking that that's gonna be good for post shave. I should probably caveat this with, this is the first time I've ever used this soap. Right here, right now, giving it a shot. Let's go with the first pass and see what happens.
All right. First pass ain't bad at all. I definitely got a lot of residual slickness on that. As you can see. Razor glided pretty good. No pulling. I mean, obviously that's a lot to do with the edge of the razor, but still. The standard cream helps. No irritation with that second application of soap, which is always a good sign. Means I got a good shave going on with that first pass. As far as the scent is concerned, it's really powerful. It's very uh, pungent in this room. I can, I can smell it consistently. It's uh, very, very polarizing. Second pass, let's see how we do with that. See if there's any kind of uh, issue with the razor sliding as it is. Here we go. That second pass was really nice. The razor slid over without any problem at all. I got some pretty good, that's some really nice taking off of the hair there. Just looking forward to a really, really nice post shave on that. So I have no problems there. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. So I think we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get cleaned up here. We'll go in the post shave and we're gonna have some final thoughts on this soap, performance, and the scent. Be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. As you can see, the shave's been completed. Everything's cleaned up. Let's get into the post shave with a little bit of witch hazel. So just to recap, heavy scented, mostly smoke, and it's very, uh, it's a unique scent. As far as I'm concerned, this is a really nice scent if you're going to be outdoors. What I would do is if you're going to be outside in the yard all day, you're going to be chopping wood, you're going to be doing some yard cleanup, but you want to do a shave beforehand. I know I usually do that type of thing. This is a perfect scent for that. If you're going to go camping and you want to throw a scent on, just kind of get in the spirit of things, this is perfect for that. If you're going to be outside during the summer, just hanging out with some friends, grilling, barbecuing, and throwing back a couple of beers, this is perfect for that. This is definitely not a scent that I would use if I were to go into an office setting. This, it's not something I would necessarily use for that or even out on a first date. This is definitely an outdoorsy scent. I like it. That said, you know what we haven't done in a while on this channel? A giveaway! We're going to give away the aftershave. We're going to go ahead and throw some of that on there. By the way, just be careful with this because it doesn't have a decanter that I can... At least it wasn't on this one. Interestingly, on the aftershave, the smoke isn't quite as prevalent. So with that said, soap and aftershave, we're giving in these away. We're going to give away Conus. Conus only. Now, I have not hit this with a brush. As you can kind of see the tracks, I scooped it out with a, a guitar pick. That's all I've used. I've not hit this with a brush at all. So this thing is good to go. Rocking and rolling. The soap is there. It's only been used once. And you saw what I did with this. Just a little bit on that. So we're going to go ahead and give these away. Brand, or not brand new company, but a newer company. Nice scent for you to give a shot to. You want it, it's yours. Conus only. All you gotta do is comment in the section below. It's gonna be interesting because when you look at your uh, analysis and analytics, 
people don't always watch the entire video. They skip around. Sometimes they don't want, they only watch the first few minutes. It's just the way it, it goes. So it'll be interesting to see if people watch this video through the entire thing, because I didn't mention the giveaway till the end. So those of you that have watched it all the way to the end and you want this soap, let me know. Comments section below. I'm in. I will pick a winner at random and I will do so with a method of my choosing. That is how I do giveaways nowadays. So comment. I'm in below. We'll give this stuff away. Rocking and rolling. By the way, I don't think I mentioned the holiday of the day today. So we're going to do that at the end. Holiday of the day today is happy Ides of March. That's what we're going with. Ides of March. You want to know what it is? Google it because I got to go. So that said, giveaway, comment below. I'm in. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Chad with CD Shaven, folks. And we'll see you guys and the girls in the next video.